Welcome back to this Let's Play of Fantasy Wars. We are on mission six. We just helped kick the orcs out of Freiburg, and it sounds like they're marching on Laurence. So we're going to save them, maybe. Something I wanted to, I noticed though, was apparently this whole like continent is called Illus, I'm guessing. But am I the only one that hates it when they do capital I? with two L's like that. I don't know why. I don't like it when stuff does this. It's hard to read it and it confuses me. It's like three lines. I don't know. It doesn't look nice to look at. My daughter and I, well, and I've played Final Fantasy IX multiple times. My daughter and I have played it. We're playing it again. And on that game, if you haven't played it, there's a tree called the, it's like Ifa tree. Or Ilfa tree or something. It's supposed to be like, what is it, I-I-A-F-A -A or something. But we've always called it, because of the line in front, we always looked at it as an L and called it the Lifa Tree. And really it's supposed to be a capital I and it's the, I don't know how you even pronounce it. We always still call it the Lifa Tree in Final Fantasy IX. We can't, because of this same problem. I, I'm not a fan of the triple... The barcode, if you will. <laughs> Not a fan. But anyways, I digress. Let's go to the Plains of Laurence. Oh man, there's a long one. Okay. Dexter, the great priest of the sword, told File and Master Brennick that an artifact possessing huge destructive powers is hidden under the main cathedral of Versan. Long ago, the human, dwarf, and elven leaders agreed to lock away this power forever. The dwarves made a runic sarcophagus. The elves play spells, and the humans volunteered to guard the burial site for eternity. Man, the humans got shafted in that. At least the elves and the dwarves had to do one thing, and then they're they're done. Humans, make sure you do your part for eternity. The great oath will be broken if the horde enters the capital of Laurence. The orcs can only be stopped by joining forces with King Stefan. File hopes for the prudence of the Laurence leader or ruler. He has been told that battle-scarred advanced regiments of knights retreated to the castle of uh, Santon. This means that the army of File has to be there too. Alright, so this is the army a few maps ago that attacked Silent and we beat them up. So we'll see what they, uh, if, hopefully they won't attack us when we get there. Okay, so now we have an eagle rider and a war eagle. Also got a foot knight. Uh, this must be an upgrade, I'm guessing, to the swordsman, looks like. With defensive stance. Oh, plus one to all attacks, plus four to defense. That's nice. Royal guards must be an upgrade to the halberdier, it looks like. Defensive mainstay. Oh, plus one defense to all neighbors. Oh, very nice. Okay. I do like ones that have kind of an aura like that. And Yeoman. I don't know what this is an upgrade to. Maybe the Spearman. I'm not sure. Okay. And then the Eagle can upgrade to an Eagle Rider. Yeah, attacks ground melee units without response. So it's kind of nice. It's a bomber. It just drops bombs on the enemy, which is nice. Or a War Eagle. How fast was the bomber? Five. Okay. And the War Eagle. Well, that has a pretty good melee and defense. How, how much defense did it have? An eight. Okay. Hmm. I do like this War Eagle. Huh. Okay. So we're doing pretty good. We've got a thousand. A thousand gold. We technically have a maxed out army currently. Because we can't deploy more than we've got. But we may want to hire some troops for reserves. Potentially. Um, I don't have any uh, special items. I'm trying to think what everybody has. He had this relic that gave a plus to defense. His defense is massive now though. A 21. Um... Who else has got items? Let's see. The eagle's got the plus one scouting. 
He's got the, what is it, Amulet of the Fanatic. Don't have other items? Oh, he's got the, oh, Sword of Wrath. Who did I want to give that to? Battle spell. Hmm. Who should I give that one to? Um. Maybe my caster? I don't think I want him to have it. Give him another spell, because right now he can only cast, you know, a couple things. It just gives him an extra spell to cast. It seems like he runs out, and spells can be cast from anywhere. He could literally stay at home and just blast people constantly for a while. Let's give him that. And... I was trying to think if I wanted Derek to hold everything here. Minus one to defense, plus two to melee. I wonder if I should give this to... This guy. You get a 15 defense. Uh... In... You know what, let's keep it where it is, for now at least. Let's upgrade our units, and then we'll... Actually, if I upgrade everything, one, two, three, four, five upgrades, let's see. Oh yeah, it's 230. What's the, what's the difference here? Let's see. 12, 12, 13, 14. Plus one defense and plus two to attack. He's also becoming a hard target, which is nice. And he gets the defensive stance ability. For 230, though. I've got two of those. Three of those, actually. But together, that'd be like 700. Let's see, my eagles. I wouldn't mind upgrading those. Um, let's see, seven six. Nine nine. Oh, that's a nice upgrade for him. Cost two hundred and fifteen, but he has a two more defense and three more attack. I like that. We're gonna get that for sure. Let's see, and the halberdier. Um hmm. Yeah, it becomes a world guard for two hundred. 12-10. I guess two more to each thing. He gains the... Oh, the defensive mainstay. That was really nice, too. I'm going to get that one for sure. Okay, now the question is... What do we want to do here? Because we've got up to three units to upgrade. We've got 594. I also... Let's see, I've got two yeoman archers, two crossbows... I wouldn't mind either a catapult or a ballista, because we've got one, two. We've got three melee units here. Plus my heroes. Like maybe I should just leave one of these units out. Let's upgrade this swordsman because he's my highest level one. Got 364. So if we were to pyre, say, a catapult, that's the best we would get. We wouldn't get anything else. Let's hire that. I think so. And these guys will have to worry about later. So one of the, I'll bring one of the swordsmen out. Because I've also only got the one ranger right now, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I think we're gonna go with this. I think this will be good. Maybe. <laughs> we have entered the plains of Laurence. We must get to the castle of Santon. Be vigilant, as we must have caught up with the orcs' main forces by now. Santon. Okay. Dexter, I wanted to ask you something for a long time. Have you noticed that the miracles you perform often look similar to some spells? Magic has nothing to do with it. A miracle is created only by faith and prayer. And magic is based on knowledge. But this energy of yours, maybe it comes from the same source. 
You channel it through your faith, and I through my mind. I didn't enchain you, Alfred, but this doesn't give you the right to speak of such blasphemy. The divine is not cognizable for a human. Disagreeing with it means one is becoming too proud. Proud? If that's true, why did God give us a mind? Isn't it for... Oh gosh, and the, and the orcs take over Laurent while we argue. Sound the alarm! We're being attacked! Eh. Alright, let's look at the situation here. Uh, oh. Oh dear. Hmm. We are starting in the middle. Hmm, we're starting in the middle of the map. We're going to 28 turns. We could rush right for it, but that seems like a, bad, a good way to lose some soldiers. Hmm. Um. We need to get ourselves into a corner somewhere. The one we want's over here, but that's a rough spot to end up in. Let's grab our eagle real quick. So I played through the mission and frankly lost more units than I think's an acceptable number. And one of the problems we're having is there are orc units just everywhere. And I remember playing this, now that I've played through it, I remember playing this last time i played this you know this campaign and i remember this being one of the tougher ones because you're just so surrounded you're not in a very good spot and there is a trick to beating this level which i'm going to show you guys and i think we're going to accept those results even though i don't know it is a little bit of a maybe cheap way to win frankly but I don't really like losing the number of units like because there's a couple strategies here. You can hold out here and just try to defend as you kind of get swarmed from all sides. Or you can try to fight your way across the river or fight your way down or to the west. Like either way, it's just it's tough. You get you kind of just get ground grinded down and you start losing units. And I don't really want to lose units. So we're going to try something else here. So what we're going to do. Something to keep in mind is you never have to deploy all your units. We can have up to 14. We don't have to have them all. And also, the only thing you have to have out is you always have to deploy uh, your heroes. You can't not deploy heroes. That's something to keep in mind also. So, I think what we're going to do do is we're going to put these archers out because both these guys have a bunch of bonuses in forests and actually they have a bonus on hills too I suppose and you will see in a moment what we're going to do is we're just going to take this small group and see if we can just spearhead our way to the castle pretty much instead of like use a small faster group and try to spear to the castle and the head of the spear is going to be Derek here because he has the... Oh, well, something we'll need to fix later. He has Sphere of Cold, I was going to say, which modifies move costs on rivers so he can easily go across them. But I guess he also has Ford Seekers. But we need to give this item after this mission to somebody more useful. But you pretty much want to give the orb, the sphere here, to a fast unit or a tough, or a tough unit like like a hero because they do need to be able to make it through so let's see if this strategy works let's start the battle here this is just a tough mission because you're just you're swarmed from all sides it can be a very tough mission so hopefully this will help people and for sure you can do a holdout and eventually grind them down and just accept the fact that you'll lose a good number of units Kind of up to you, I would say. Um, let's just shoot this guy. There are a lot of goblins around hiding here and there. Two, so you have to be careful with this strategy because there's a lot of goblins hiding like in trees and bushes and stuff. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um... Let's move him 
Like one reason I picked the swordsman is his defense is incredibly high at this point. He's a level four. Because we need somebody to make sure, like, there's still a lot of units, and we need to survive to, you know, like, as you can see, there's this many units everywhere. There's that many units here, here, here. Like, there's just units everywhere. It's pretty ridiculous. Unfortunately, that means we would, with the strategy I'm doing, we don't get all the bonuses. But on the plus side, we will get the gold bonus, which is something. Okay, so he retreated. Good. Move Derek up. And actually, can my eagle just kill you? He can. Now remember, unlike like all the orc units, Derek can treat the river pretty much as though it's not a, an obstacle, which means next turn he can go... Because as you can now see, the castle we're trying to get to, to liberate, there's nobody, the orcs don't defend it. Which is the trick to this level. Because another thing I found was that you only get like 8 turns, I think, to get a gold victory. Which means the game kind of expects you to spearhead. Because if you try to hold out, it takes more than 8 turns just to kill everything. Because there's so many units. I mean, there's just swarms. And so, that's something to keep in mind. Actually, could I do a... Inspire to defend? I can. Let's do that. Because that boosts all of our neighbors, right? But plus three, yeah. Did that work? Let's see. There he is. It says Derek plus four, actually. Oh, wait. Does he have another bonus he's giving also? Oh, hey, Commander? No. What's giving the... Oh, Tactician. Yeah, so they're both getting a plus four, right? Oh, my gosh. That means this guy's at... Oh, wait. He's only at a 20. Oh, I think he was higher before because he was inside of the the uh, the building there. I cannot think of the word. The village. Um, let's zap one of these guys. I guess we want to weaken as many units as possible that are probably going to attack. And the mounted units are the most dangerous during all this. We're mostly trying to escort though, Derek. In without losing too many units here. Because pretty much as long as Derek gets in, we'll win the mission. Effectively, the rest of my army will run in behind him. This spell was cast against us from the east. Strange magic. Components typical of blood. It must be a hexer, and we'd better get to him quickly. Yeah, yeah, Master Burnock. Well, actually, we're we're not going to. <laughs> like, we're going to lose the map bonuses, and we're going to lose some XP, obviously, because we're not going to kill very much. But on the plus side, we're going to gain a good amount because we'll get a gold victory. So, you know. Because right now, as you can see, we can go right here this turn, and then next turn we can jump into the city. So let's continue to shoot this guy. Mostly we just got to keep everybody off of us. I noticed they didn't choose to attack most of my guys. I'm guessing the plus to defense really uh, deterred them, I guess. Okay, so there's a guy here. Have our eagle come over and Oh, he won't get a lot done, actually. Did he get... Oh, he did. He got rusted. That's the spell that's being cast. Minus five to all attacks. So I probably don't want him to attack. Um, Let's move him up. In there. Let these guys just try to hold the line over here, I suppose. And... I mean, this guy's not going to probably do a lot. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just end the turn. Like I said, as long as we survive this turn, we can... We can, uh... Get over there. Oh! Oh, they're trying to stop us, though. Uh-oh. Oh, Derek may not make it here. We may have to try again. It's going to be real close. Because there's a lot... Of, it's these guys we got to worry about. There's a lot of guys right there. I don't know if they're going to move from their position or not. 
Uh, they have not. Okay, so now Derek, oof, with two hit points left, can go in, in there. Perfect. So let's see. Is there anything we could kill just to get a free XP? Let's see. I, I do like some free XP. Uh, let's lightning you. Oh, he's a level two. Wow. Uh, Eagle can probably just kill you. I'm guessing. Oh, I didn't kill him. Boo. All right. Um, Master Father Dexter leveled up. Cause fear. Ooh, heal. I. Nah, I want heal. Heal's excellent. Alright, well, we're going to win the mission. So as you guys can see, this is a strategy. And generally speaking, this isn't too difficult. If you just have a small, kind of tough army, like all you have to do is be able to punch your way through and have some unit with the sphere that can just use the rivers and kind of just cut through is the is the strategy and obviously they need to be tough enough but let's take the castle or i mean uh, rescue them yes my fellow men look who's shown up it's none other than Captain File, glorious protector of silence traffickers. Put him in chains. <sighs> oh gosh, and we're immediately arrested. Good, good. This is what we get for saving your sorry butt. Pardon me, your majesty. The Holy Inquisition of the Sword humbly asks you to grant freedom to Derek File, and also not to harm his people, including mages, in the name of God. Uh oh, got him. Got him with the divine uh, intervention. The royal house of Laurence has always heeded the church's advice. Well then, Captain File, from now on your army becomes a part of our forces. You now report to us. The captain thanks your majesty for mercy and is ready to obey any orders. Aren't you, Derek? Uh, no. I claim this castle in the name of me. At your orders, your majesty. Oh, I guess not. All right, well, we uh, save the day, kind of. Let's see what bonuses we got. Mm, nice, 300 gold. We got a group of royal archers. Ooh, I think that's the next level up from the uh, yeoman. Oh, yeah, multiple support. Oh, he can perform the support attack multiple times. Nice. Mm, very nice. Okay, that'll be nice. Ooh, a staff of eternal flame. The staff used to belong to a mighty mage, an expert in the element of fire. The staff absorbed part of its former owner's power and can be used to attack enemies with fireballs, even if its present owner lacks any knowledge of magic. Very nice. Yeah, but no, overall, that's that was pretty good. I think so. I'll take the win. The next time we'll be on Generals of Laurents. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, hit the like button. If you're enjoying the series hit that sub button and if you have any comments like what did you think of that strategy if you guys have played this before what strategy did you use because that's a difficult mission it is it's one of the more difficult ones just because you're so surrounded so if you used a different strategy that worked out well let me know down below um yeah i hope to see you next time thanks for watching